Ashe, 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 Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel. I see you, Tarot. I am here to do a general injury for you guys to see what you can expect for the next, for the rest of May, okay? What is the important message for Sagittarius coming across my channel? Sun, moon, rising. What do they need to hear for the rest of May? What's going on for the rest of their May? What's the message for Sagittarius? What's the energy? You might have a lot of distractions around you. You might be distracted right now. Or just have people itching to get back in. We got obstacles and challenges. Something is about to change for you. Some type of obstacle is about to change for you. I'm getting that you need to carry the energy of being fierce and confident. With you for the rest of May for some reason. There's some. Let me get some more. We got intuition. Intuition keep coming out for everybody. Your mind is going to help you for the rest of May when it comes to something. When it comes to overcoming some type of obstacle, you have to listen to your intuition when it comes to overcoming, overcoming something for the rest of May. We got new beginnings. A new beginning is trying to come to you, but it's like you have to take a leap of faith. You see here, you see that um that opening right here? You have to take a leap of faith. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you to this new beginning. But in order for you to get to that new beginning, you have to listen to yourself. You might not be listening to yourself right now. Let's get some more for Sagittarius. Why we got transformation? Sagittarius, a serious change is really, really about to head your way. Sometime for the in the rest of May. A serious change is about to happen for you. I feel like you already feel this energy. I really do. You feel something big changing for you. You feel something calling you. Could be something to do with your creativity. Something to do with your foundation. And we got heartache and loss. Okay, so this is literally giving me like... It's not going to be easy. But it doesn't have to be hard. I said this to some, for somebody else I did a reading for. Another sign I did a reading for. I think it was Virgo. It's not going to be easy, but it doesn't have to be hard. You're going to lose some things and some people along this journey. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. How bad do you want it is what I'm getting here, though. How bad do you want it? Let me get one more. We got positive movement forward. How bad do you want it? You need to be in the energy of good, good things are going to happen for you. Once you take this leap of faith of whatever this is, whatever you're being nudged towards, you have to be in the energy of, okay, I'm going to do this, and I know good things are going to happen for me on the other side. I know I'm going to come out a champion. I'm already a champion due to the fact that I even want to take this leap of faith, due to the fact that I'm willing to go through this transformation. Makes me a champion. Yeah, we got victory and success at the bottom of the day. Victory and success. You're going to be victorious, Okay. If you take this leap of faith with whatever this is, you're going to be victorious. Clarify obstacles and challenges. Let's clarify this for you guys. We got clarity of belief. Something to do with your belief system. That's why intuition is out here. That's why it's so, if wh wh whoever is resonating with this message, that's why it's so important for you to know that you're being guided. To take this leap of faith. But I'm going to take a leap of faith with your belief system. Because in order for your intuition to guide you, you have to have some type of belief system. You have to believe in something. What do you believe in? In order for you to go through this transformation and become this butterfly that's free to roam life and do as he or she please and have broody surrounded around them, you have to know that it's bigger than you. You got to know it's bigger than you. Clarify 
by intuition. Believe in yourself. Oh, we got flow. What did I just say? In order for you to be in the energy of being a butterfly and knowing that, you know, things are going to happen for you, good things are going to happen for you regardless of being around the energy of peace and just prosperity. Like, you literally, you have to flow with life. You got to flow. You have to believe. Believe in God and believe in yourself. You ain't got to believe in no specific God, but believing in yourself is good enough because, once again, I got to say it. I said it in other videos I just did. Ye are gods. You are a god. God is. Take this message as it resonates, Sagittarius. You are exactly what you feel like you're missing. And if you can, if you can take this leap of faith, and be willing to lose people and lose things. Be poor for a minute if you have to. Be financially unstable for a minute if you have to. You know, not being around other people for a minute if you have to. Changing locations if you have to. Like, yo, on the other side, yo, the other side is a beautiful transformation waiting for you. But first you have to get to this new beginning before you get to the transformation. Clarify new beginnings. Got joy and stability, baby. What did I just say? Joy and stability is waiting on you on the other side of that obstacle that you may feel like it's kind of tough to that you have to you gotta go jump through hoops. Look at that, look at that circle around it. You feel like you have to jump through hoops to get to the other side, but I'm telling you, you do not. All you have to do is listen to your intuition and flow with it. Just flow with it. This I like this energy. Okay, Sagittarius. Hold on. Oh, let me adjust myself for a second. Okay. <laughs> Clarify transformation for Sagittarius. Oh, we got simply love. Oh, my gosh. Flown with the energy of love. Having a positive relationship with love. And love is many things. Love isn't just two people being together. And love is not all some sunshine and rainbows either. Sometimes love is ugly. Yeah. Ooh, look, I spent the day on love abounds. Sometimes love is ugly. But love is the answer. Love is the answer. This transformation is you, you literally are going to, you're going to literally be able to overcome this obstacle if you can do it with the energy of love. And tell yourself, man, I got this. This shit ain't nothing. I got this. You got that, that strength, though. That strength. Strength, strength and confidence is very important for you during this time. Clarify heartache and loss. Like I say, though, you got to be willing to lose people. We got to reach out. There's going to be moments if, uh, during this transformation that you're about to have where it's the people that you normally reach out to, you, you're not going to be able to reach out to them because they don't belong on your journey. They don't belong on this next level with you. And not even just that they don't, they don't belong, but you're going to be stepping into a point of your life where you're going to be doing work that these people haven't reached yet. They haven't reached this, this level in their life where they're doing the work to, you know, to master themselves, to master the art of love. We got master to come out here too. You're going to have to master your heart chakra and know that losing something is only an opportunity to learn something. Wow. Clarify about positive moving forward? You're going to have to have positive moving forward because you're going to have to walk away from people and things. And you're not, you're not going to know what that looks like. We got to detach. Literally. You're going to have to have a positive outlook for it for the rest of your mate because something is going to be coming to you. And take this energy as it resonates because if you feel this obstacle coming towards you, Sagittarius, and you decide you don't want to go through hoops to get to the other side of what you really truly know you, you need and deserve and just, just need, then I don't know what to tell you, but for the ones that do, 
But for the ones that do, like you really want to, you want to stop playing games with yourself. And you don't want to sit up here and be a puppet for other people anymore. It ain't going to be easy, but it ain't got to be hard either. It doesn't have to be hard. But it just might be lonely for a little while. It might be lonely for a little while. And you might not be having the things that society say that you need to have. But that doesn't mean that you're not forever going to not have it. You know, but you have to learn how to lose control. You have to learn how to be willing to lose some things. Lose yourself to gain yourself. That's another thing that this is. Lose yourself to gain yourself. Let's get something from the tarot. Ooh. You know which way to go. You know which way to go. You know what you need to do to get to the other side of this obstacle. But are you going to play scared? Or you're going to step into your goddamn confidence and do it. That's what I'm getting with this two of swords. Clarify this two of swords. Look at that. The five of wands. You know what you need to do. You know who you know who, who you need to cut off on this side. You know who you need to cut off on this side. You ain't fucking, you're not really blinded to what you need to do. Somebody around you wants you to feel like you you don't know the answer. You don't know which way to go. You don't really know how to take care of yourself. You don't really you know how to listen to your intuition. You don't want to really have a new beginning or a new transformation. Like you love being down. Like somebody is trying to put that on you. But that's not really the case though. That's not really the case. You have to. That's not the reason why you got to let these people go. Stop trying to hold on to people that God is trying to tell you to let go. Sagittarius. Shit. Stop being hard-headed. You got the Queen of Cups. Stop being so hard-headed. Clarify this Queen of Cups. You better take control of your emotions. Take control of your emotions. But we got the Four of Wands. Who is a good person to you? Really sit down and ask yourself, who is a good person to me? Am I a good person to myself, too? That's another thing I'm getting with this. Am I what I want other people to be to me? Wow. That could be the obstacle. You facing yourself. Look at some more Sagittarius. Ooh, look at that dog. Literally, that's my, that might be the obstacle for you, Sagittarius. Facing yourself. Realizing that it's time for you to go through a transformation. Death is literally transformation. Wow. Wow. Ace of Swords fell. That's clarification. That's clarification. Are you ready to clarify things for yourself? Are you going to keep letting your ego be in control? Let's get some more for Sagittarius. I just seen 13, 13. We got the four of cups. 13, 13. Three plus one is four. And we got the four of cups to come out. Mm. I'm trying to give to you, but it's like you keep on focusing on the shit that, that's not giving to you, that's not filling your cup. But I got a whole cup waiting on you is what God trying to tell you. Your intuition is trying to tell you. Keep flowing with life. Stop dwelling on the things that, 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 that happened to you in the past or that might be happening to you now. And... Change. Change things for yourself. Stop sitting in your own shit and change. Look at the six of cups. They want you to fall, but you got to get back up. Clarify the six of cups. Look at the three of pentacles. They want you to fall, but you got to get back up. And it's going to take some learning. You're going to have to be that teacher, that student, and that observer. I'll say that for somebody else reading. I'm getting that energy a lot now. You're going to have to stop. This is t It's time for accountability for everybody. It's time for everybody to be accountabil accountable for what they're pouring into themselves that they want other people to come in and pour into them, be it somebody else or God. What are you giving to yourself? Because that's really what most people are really missing. Oh, we got everything is fine. Everything is fine. Sagittarius. When you finally realize that you went through some of these obstacles for a reason, when you finally try to listen to your intuition and 
take this big leap of faith, which I really believe this leap of faith is you facing yourself, you're gonna realize that everything is fine. And now and that and now that you are aware of, of the things that you, you do to yourself and the other people do to you, and you're aware that you're gonna have to change some things about yourself and cut some people off, on the other side is gonna be glory. This is literally a rags and riches situation here, Sagittarius, for you. Literally a rags and riches. Nine of Pentacles. Putting in the work. Listening to God when God, you know, tries to guide you. Okay, let's close it out for Sagittarius. What do you want to close it out on? What do you want to close it out on for Sagittarius? For the rest of their May. Oh, look at that crown chakra. Your mind. Clarify crown chakra. This, again, with your intuition. We got intuition out here. Oh, we got passion ignited. Passion ignited. Igniting your passion. Something to do with your intuition, your mind, Sagittarius. Your mind is very powerful. Not only that your mind is very powerful, but your intuition is trying to guide you to what you're passionate about. What is this crown chakra where passion ignited? I'm going to close it out for you, Sagittarius. Wow, we got the Ace of Pentacles. What just fell? Oh, and the Empress fell. The Ace of Pentacles with Empress. And it goes right back to love. Being in the energy of love. Letting love guide you to your Ace of Pentacles. Letting love guide you to what it makes you. But facing yourself, I really believe it's going to be the obstacle for you, Sagittarius. I really believe it's going to be the obstacle for you facing yourself. I really do. What might be this obstacle for Sagittarius? I want to get a, a clue on what this obstacle... Oh, I've just seen honesty. I've just seen honesty. What might be the obstacle for Sagittarius? I'm telling you, it might be you being honest with yourself. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate. I just said that earlier. Learning the fact that losing things and losing people, once you get to the other side of this obstacle, you're going to be realizing that these things and these people, you have to detach from it because it's just a way of life. It's just a way of life. Clarify grief. It's just a way of life. Change. Change is inevitable. Change is just another way of life. And in order for you to be really be guided in life, you have to listen to your intuition. Look at that indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. We literally got intuition out here. It's time for you to start guiding yourself with your intuition. Crown chakra, that's intuition. Your mind is very important for you at this time for the rest of your May. It's time for you to listen to yourself, basically Sagittarius. Listen to what Sagittarius want and be willing to learn more and be more open to new information. You got to put in the work behind this. Putting in the work behind this is going to be very important for you. We got, we got honesty. I just expected that kind of honesty. I can't always expect the truth from, my, from others, but I can expect it from myself. It's time for you to start being honest with yourself. Maybe I'm not listening to my intuition the way I'm supposed to. Maybe I am looking for other people to take care of me. Maybe I am looking for other people to make decisions for me. Maybe I am a little lost. Maybe I am a little jealous. Maybe I do have something in me that needs to change. You know, just asking yourself questions. That possibly is the obstacle for you, Sagittarius. But okay, you guys, that is your reading. I hope you guys resonated with the video and took something from it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I'll share, I'll share, I'll share.